American journalists have reported that as part of the undisclosed details of his victory plan, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky allegedly requested Washington to supply long-range Tomahawk cruise missiles. An unnamed senior U.S. official said to the New York Times that Zelensky purportedly asked for Tomahawk as a component of a non-nuclear deterrence package of his proposed victory plan. The Tomahawk missiles have a range of over 2,400 kilometers, approximately seven times farther than the ATA CMS missiles, which Ukraine received in limited numbers. The Tomahawk is a family of American subsonic cruise missiles manufactured by Raytheon. Tomahawk is a long-range strategic and tactical missile that travels at very low altitudes while navigating the terrain. The missile is produced in various modifications, which include different warheads, including nuclear, launches from various platforms, and more. After the signing of the 1987 agreement between the US and the USSR on the elimination of intermediate and short-range missiles, ground launchers and ground-based missiles were removed from service and destroyed in 1991, according to the directive of the US President George Bush. The US official described this request from Kiev as a totally unfeasible request. The list of long-range targets in Russia previously submitted by Ukraine in an attempt to gain permission to strike Russian territory with American missiles reportedly far exceeds the number of missiles that the US or any other ally could supply without jeopardizing their own needs in the event of escalations in the Middle East or Asia. Referring to four sources, the publication also noted that Zelensky was reportedly stunned by the refusal to lift the restrictions on long-range strikes following his meeting with Biden in September. Last week, U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan stated that the White House's stance on allowing Ukraine to conduct long-range strikes deep into Russian territory had not changed, although discussions are ongoing. Russian leader Vladimir Putin warned that such permission from Ukraine's Western allies would be regarded as direct NATO involvement in the war and stated that Russia is exploring various response options. President Volodymyr Zelensky addressed the Verkhovna Rada on October the 16th. There, he presented Ukraine's plan for victory in the war with Russia. The document consists of five points and three secret appendices. In particular, the secret portion has not been disclosed publicly anywhere. In October, Russian invaders managed to seize more than 470 square kilometers of Ukrainian territory. This is the occupier's largest territorial gain since March 2022. This was reported by Welt Media Outlet. According to media reports, Russia made rapid advances in Ukraine last week. In total, from 20 to October 27, the Russian army managed to occupy 196 square kilometers. At the same time, the AFP news agency, citing data from the U.S. Institute for the Study of War, reported that the Russian army had advanced on 478 square kilometers of Ukrainian territory since the beginning of October. By October 27, Russian troops had taken control of more territory than in August and September, when the territorial gains were 477 and 459 square kilometers respectively. In two months, there have already been significant shifts on the front line, especially in eastern Ukraine, around the strategically important city of Pokrovsk, the article says. The journalists note that two-thirds of Russia's territorial gains in October were in Donetsk region, where Russians are approaching Pokrovsk from the south and east. The Ukrainian army has found itself in a difficult position on the eastern front, given the numerically superior and better armed Russian soldiers. The last time Russian troops managed such an advance in March 2022, when they tried to reach Kiev. In total, in 2023, they occupied 584 square meters of Ukraine's territory, and the area seized since January 1, 2024 is 2,660 square kilometers, Welt writes. Together with Crimea, annexed in 2014, 
and the territories in Donbass that had already been controlled by separatists before the Russian offensive, Moscow currently controls about 18.2% of Ukrainian territory. As reported Ukrainian army gained up to 1,300 square kilometers as a result of the offensive in Kursk region.